your script or mine is not going to sell for a million dollars. And that's okay. This happened a few times in the 90s when writers like Shane Black and Joe Estahas became major legends because of the amount of money studios agreed to pay for a script written by them. These days, the odds of someone selling a screenplay for a significant sum of money, especially if they have never sold anything before, are so small, they might as well be non-existent. I don't want to be the one who bursts your bubble, but here we are. Let me explain. The reason why you're reading screenplays, both produced and unproduced, the reason why you're engaging with screenwriting Twitter, the reason why your ears perk up when you hear that the close neighbor of a distant cousin knows someone in Dharma or Netflix or Prime Video. The reason why you're doing any of these things is because you are hoping for a long-term career in screenwriting and consequently the film business. Careers are not built in a day and it takes a long time for you to get to that place from where you can command a large sum of money for your work. I'm not just saying this for you, I'm saying this for myself. I decided I wanted to be a filmmaker relatively late in life. Well, definitely later than those 10-year-olds who are running around with these phones that can shoot in 4K making their early masterpieces. But I have still been doing this for over 20 years. In that time, I have made a depressingly small amount of money as a screenwriter. I pay my bills as a working filmmaker. In my line of work, I have filmed some of Bollywood's biggest stars because we focus on the fashion and lifestyle space. But none of them knows that I am a screenwriter. Now let's play out a different scenario. Let's say you got that million dollars for a screenplay. What happens next? For one, you expect all of your future screenplays to sell for at least a million dollars. So if you got to a place from where you sold a screenplay for less than a million dollars, you would think of that as a fail or a loss. Or say you got that million dollar deal and decided to call it quits. I believe you haven't thought this through. Taxes and all sorts of assorted fees like lawyers or agents. So even if the deal was worth a million dollars, you don't actually get a million dollars in hand. A million dollars doesn't go as far as you think it might. Sure, if you live in an inexpensive place, maybe you could make it work. But if you live in any major city in the world, a million dollars will disappear so quickly, you would not be able to believe it. So now that I have your attention, which I'm guessing I do if you're still watching this video, let me reiterate. You want to build upon your past successes to get to that place from where the fee is just a byproduct of the demand there is for your services. As a quick step by step, this is what I think a career in screenwriting would look like. Someone expresses interest in one of your ideas or in your style of writing. Someone asks you to collaborate on a project. Now exactly like when you're dealing with social media influencers, collaborate probably means you're not getting paid. You are hired to write a treatment note. You are hired to write a pitch bible. You are hired to write the show bible and the pilot episode of a show. You are hired to write a screenplay. You are hired to punch up a screenplay. You are hired to write another screenplay. One of your screenplays goes into production. A movie or a show based on your screenplay is released. A movie or a show based on your screenplay is a hit. Suddenly, Lots of people are interested in your work and in engaging your services, at which point you get to charge exactly what you feel you are worth. As you can see, those are a lot of steps. You don't have to hit each and every one of them, but you will need to achieve some of those milestones if you're planning to get by just on the strength of the stories you write. This journey is not for everyone and hope and self-belief are a very important part of the everyday life of a struggling screenwriter because we have to overcome a great deal of difficulties every single day before we can finally make it. And I hope you do make it as a screenwriter. Feel free to leave me a comment telling me that I was wrong, that you were able to become a champagne screenwriter without following any of these steps. For the rest of us mere mortals, I'm leaving this video up as a reminder to work daily on our skill, on our relationships, as well as ourselves, so that there is a compounding effect that may finally lead to us achieving what we want from our screenwriting journeys. Thank you for watching. Now go create something awesome.